I'm trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. In the fairway here at the 10, nice way to start off the back nine. See if our featured player can do something right today. Yeah, when you swing in well, obviously target looks as, as big as a barn, but on days like today, everything looks difficult. Well, they're all Frank doesn't look too bad. No, just maybe a little right of the flag. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. That's that sneaky distance. I thought he had that. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. He needs this for par. Doing what needs to be done, you need to make him from that distance. We're here at the downhill par 3, 11th hole. Frank hits 215 yards from the back tee. This hole uh, certainly is not for the faint of heart. When you look at that tee shot, you think, oh my God, what do I do from here? But remind yourself, it's 215 yards and really only about 160, 170 yards to green grass again. But it's 215 yards. That should be the club that you're trying to pick. Green's big enough, just persuade yourself. Try not to look at the canyon in the desert. There is a green down there. The hole is playable. Birdie try up next. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, it's certainly not down the fairway line, hitting toward the rough. Frank, way offline all day long. Yeah, this is uh, this is a head scratcher, really. I've seen him play before, normally much better than this. This is uh, this is abnormal, that's for sure. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Safely aboard, about 25 feet from the hole. Locked in on the read and the speed. See, he thought he had that. It looked in the whole way until the end. That was a good run at it, Rich. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament.
appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Frank, this ball's in the rough. You like to hinge just a little bit quicker on the takeaway when the ball is down like this? No, when it's down, you've just got to make sure that you wind up almost like you're hitting a tee shot. Uh, this is not one to be dallied with. You've got to hit it powerfully, and you really have to focus on that club getting through the grass, past the ball, and out the other side. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Pretty good shot right there. Just a couple of feet. And he makes it for par. That's in the fairway. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. A little shaky behind the wheel today, Frank. A little shaky? <laughs> Maybe put both hands on it. That one is really long, Frank. He miscalculated there. Well, there has to be something. I mean, from, from where he was, it's just an aberration. Seriously, that little green patch down the end there with a the flag in it, that's where you're meant to go. Not like sailing over yonder. Fourth par. Has it. Good punt right there. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Yeah. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Frank, you'd like to walk away with birdie here, given that it is a pretty short par four. How do you get it done? 
You're going to have something in sort of uh, the short iron variety into this green. The green, the hardest part of it uh, is all the undulations on this green. You realise why Wolf Creek has a slope rating of 154. So even with a short iron in hand, make sure you hit it in the precise section where that flag's located. Otherwise, you're going to have a hellacious putt across this green. Him and stacking him. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. And yet again, he has hit it off the tee and into the bunker. Missed the fairway in the fairway bunker now. It's not all gloom and doom, though. Lip isn't too high. A good swing here still shouldn't be a problem. Missed that one, and it is going towards the rough. Pretty good result right there, considering... It looked rough all the way. Exactly. Really good. Third shot, looking for a good one. That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side, that will be a great look at birdie. Little redemption chance here had bogey yesterday. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, you couldn't hit that much better. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Getting some sand in the shoes now. We're a second straight hole. He's in the bunker. Great knees, great hands in this shot. Yeah, touch. You, you, you have to have that feel. You have something between the ball and the club face. So it's a different feel, but you also have to have imagination. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Solid play, heart of the green. This to win the EA Sports Spring Invitational. And that's in for a par. Just a tremendous week of golf. And that, my friend, is a winner right there. Yeah, and he should be proud of himself, too. It took golf of the highest quality to beat this high-quality field. 